We have two named storm systems east of Japan moving out to sea and a potential new system developing in the Philippine Sea later on this week. It'll increase rainfall for the east coast of the Philippines. I'm meteorologist Robert Spetta, as always, keeping you posted on what's happening out here in the tropics. If you want to do me a solid, hit that subscribe button. Always trying to get up to 100,000 subscribers. Um, It'd be nice because it helps with the algorithm once we get the channel verified. So do it right now. Let's talk about what's happening out here, though. As I mentioned, we have two systems. Yeah, one here, Krosa, and another one I'm not even going to try to pronounce behind it. I'll show you the name in just a second. Let's go to the next slide. Okay, I'll try. Bailu? I hope that's how Bailu sounds right. Both of these moving out to sea, though, they've been just picked up by the jet stream. They're going to be kicking along. If you're taking the North Pacific route for any sailing, it is not going to be a good good route. I'll tell you that. Some big old fat waves coming out of that. But those are moving away from any mainland areas. You have the uh, Westpac High located right in there. And, of course, we're keeping an eye on this area. Yeah, there's a uh, low just towards the west of Guam that could be forming up here. And even a secondary one behind that. That's going to be increasing showers for the east coast of the Philippines, specifically around parts of the Bicol area, as well as uh, eastern areas of Asayas, northeastern Luzon. I've seen Bagasa, and I love you guys at Bagasa saying the monsoon is still bringing scattered showers to northern Luzon the next few days. I honestly don't see it. Yeah, okay. Isolated showers maybe in Baguio, but I think it's a little misleading because Habaga is completely lifted towards the north, impacting more or less the southern Japanese islands, southeastern areas of China. This is the big topic, though. Look at this Thursday heading into Friday. You can see the convection kicking off there for southeastern Luzon, extending back towards the north. And this is going to bring some scattered showers. And if this load does decide to tighten up, it could even bring the chance of maybe some... Um, uh, a full-on tropical system, I should say. Sorry, I lost my train of thought. It's been a long day. So right now, the Habaga has lifted towards the north. That's the big thing. But yeah, we're definitely going to want to watch this because that could increase showers for the east coast of the Philippines, especially through the second half of the upcoming week. This is actually our good old SpaghettiOs showing you in the Philippine Sea, kind of the ensembles clustered around that area just off of northeastern Luzon per the ECMWF. So another indicator of a tropical system development. This wouldn't be impacting you until about Thursday, Friday, but maybe as early as Wednesday, some rain bands kicking in. The key thing is it is going to increase rainfall at the very least, but as we've seen before, sometimes these monsoonal gyres try to tighten up and they can uh, they can form into full-blown at least tropical depressions and become a named storm system, which... As we've seen over and over again over the past few weeks, is not completely out of the realm of possibility. See here, though, the ECMWF in the next five days indicating, you know, that pickup of 50 to 100 millimeters across parts of the B-Call region. Although that is not set in stone, not a final forecast. It just indicates that there will be an increase in that total rainfall for that area. So... Yeah. Here's a look at Tuesday, though. Yeah, you got some isolated showers across parts of Mindanao over towards Visayas. It's not going to be a washout, but definitely some passing rainfall in your forecast. It's not for everybody either. It's just going to be hit and miss. Still got some isolated showers across parts of Manila. And as you mentioned, yeah, the mountains there across Region 1 still could get a little bit of the monsoonal flow. But honestly, I don't think it's not too much to worry about. In fact, let's pull back the broader picture. You can see what I'm talking about here with that overall flow back towards the north we're going to watch our gyre but the subtropical ridge really just kind of stifling anything from really picking up that monsoonal flow right now so if this is develops it's going to want to kick off towards north and west and it will want to move towards northeastern Luzon so I think that's the big topic by Thursday and the Friday increasing showers back here towards the north all right. Big shout out to all our Patreon members who support this channel though I can't stress enough uh, that um, you are the reason why I'm able to still do this. So thank you so much. If you want to really support the channel, check out our link down below. If you really want to support the channel and you don't want to donate money, hit that subscribe button if you already haven't. Tell your friends to hit the subscribe button. Tell everybody, come out here. Let's let's make Westpac weather um, available to more people so people know about it. I think that's one thing. A lot of people, there's people still coming on today and being like, wow, I've never heard of this channel, but it, I find it useful. And um, we've been doing this for about 15 years now. So welcome. And I hope you stay and I hope you tell your friends. Stay safe out there. That's what we say in every update. And I truly mean it. So have a great day.